Fractions to Decimals, Part 3. My favourite way to solve a fractions to decimals problem is to make an equivalent fraction with a base 10 denominator. It's fast because you're using mental math skills. But sometimes you'll get a fraction like this one, where it's impossible to make a base 10 denominator. I can't multiply 8 by anything to get a denominator of 10 or 100. And 3 and 8 have no common factor, so I can't reduce it. With this fraction, we need a new way to solve the problem. I'm going to show you the method with an easy one, 1 half. We already know, as a decimal, this is 0 0.5 and I'm going to prove it with this new method. We can read the fraction from top to bottom. Then it actually tells us what to do to turn it into a decimal. This fraction bar separating numerator and denominator means divided by. We can read one half as one divided by two. On the calculator, one divided by 2, 0 0.5, the decimal equivalent. You already know this is correct, so you know this method works. Now let's go back to 3 eighths. Read it as 3 divided by 8. On the calculator, 3 divided by 8 is 0 0.375. Great! But what if you can't use a calculator for whatever reason? Then you do it on paper. 3 divided by 8. We're going to get a decimal remainder here. I think you've done those before, but here's a link to a review video just in case. You can use long division or short. Your choice, same result. I'm a short division person, so here we go. How many groups of 8 are there in 3? Obviously, none. Put your 0. Put a decimal point in the answer and in the problem. And some zeros so you've got something to work with. Now we say, how many 8s in 30? 3 8s of 24, remainder 6. How many 8s in 60? 7 8s of 56, remainder 4. And how many 8s? in 40. 5 eighths of 40, no remainder this time, so we're all done. By calculator and now on paper, we see that 3 eighths is 0 0.375. Every fraction has a decimal equivalent that you can find using this method. Of course it's faster by calculator, but if you have to, you can work it out on paper. And there's more to know. Sometimes, as you're doing a division problem, you'll get stuck in a never-ending loop, like in this example of one-third. One divided by three. On the calculator, one divided by three gives us 0 0.3333333. Three keeps coming up. It's a recurring digit. But in our answer, we don't use this long string of threes that just keeps on going. Instead, we use some cool math notation to show the recurring digit. We put a dot over the first three and we leave all the others off. The dot is a cool shortcut to show a recurring digit. It also shows you know exactly what you're doing. And it's way better than writing a load of threes. So, when this crops up for you in a math problem, and it will, don't just write a string of recurring digits like the calculator shows you. As soon as you find a recurring digit, just put one of those digits and use the dot. OK, that's all for this video. There's one little tack-on skill that we still need to cover. That's going to be part four. See you soon.